A person is locked in his tightly sealed world. People take sides with everybody else except for him. What would you do if you were him? You must search into your life in order to live soundly. To overcome the darkness in your life, will you go forward even though you might fall into the pit? Or will you give it all up? Meet novelist Lee Sung Woo, who has shown us the answer by revealing his own dark world. A present without a past does not exist, but some people, however, never wish to record their past. Thus, they forget or try to erase their memories throughout their lives. The French writer Andre Gide once said. Do not remain by something that reminds you of yourself, ever. Nothing is as dangerous for you as your home, your room, or your past. To this, writer Lee Sung Woo replied, "I have at one time tried to leave my home, my room, and my past, but nothing was as dangerous as that." Park Bugil is delving deep into his life in a dark back room. People who are satisfied with their lives do not write. Park Bugil, unhappy with his life, is recording his inner life. This story is a dark-hearted young man who has been chased by his own dark. 부수고 세계를 어떻게 나오는가에 초점이 맞춰진 소설인데요. 박부길 was always alone during his childhood. He knew nothing about parental love and grew up in his uncle's home. There was a rule that Pugil had to obey there. The backyards was an off-limits area. He would get a severe beating if he got caught there. An insane man lurked in the backyard, who would stare at him with cold eyes. Those eyes kept bringing Bugil back, and in them there lay a secret that only he didn't know about. The man was Bugil's father. Bugil, please hear one more time. What moved Pugil's mind? The cold stare, or the invisible tie of blood relations? Pugil brings the man a nail clipper, risking danger. The next day, the man, Pugil's father, is found dead. He has killed himself with the nail clippers. His father disappeared from his life just like that. To Pugil, this place was no longer home. Park Pugil is the portrait of the writer Lee Sung Woo, who also spent a lonely childhood resulting from his father's absence. His unpleasant memories were brought back to life through the novel *The Inner Life*. 실제로 제 기억 속에서 나온 것이 많이 있고 또 무엇보다도. 그한 시절을 살 살던 그내 안에 어떤 의식이랄까 정신이랄까 사유 그런 것들은 거의 뭐제 자신의 이야기가 많이 반영되지 않았을까 그런 생각합니다. Lee Sung Woo calls himself a literary minority. God sees people's loneliness, insecurity, and the consciousness of their original sins. Lee Sung Woo is viewed as a writer who finally expressed this heavy theme. He certainly is a minority, a writer we can seldom find in the Korean literary world. His writing was widely recognized in Europe and was especially appreciated in France. He wrote about appreciation of human beings living all over the world in romantic and fierce methods. Le Monde, the French daily journal, even featured him on the front page of its cultural section. 작가 이승우는 그런 어떤 우리 
그 한국적인 것과 어, 서양적인 것, 특히 기독교의 문제라든가 자기 구원과 사회 변화의 문제, 그리고 어, 신성한 것과 세속적인 것, 그리고 어, 외적인 세계와 자기 내면의 문제, 이런 것들을 어, 종합적으로 어, 그 함께 어, 그 표현하고자 하는 그런 작가로서의 그 의미를 어, 갖고 있습니다. 그래서. As it is written in the preface of his novel, he searched into his dark childhood through writing. And he was finally able to climb out of the dark pit of his past and start walking steadily on his own path. What kind of hand of hope did Lee Sung Woo offer to the boy Park Bu Gil? I don't have any memory of my father. I was born when I was young. My mother was a teacher who was a teacher at school. 제가 그 소설에서 그 박복이라는 인물을 구원시키기 위해서 등장했던 중요한 인물은 사실은 그 종단이라고 하는 이름을 가진 한 거의 성스럽게 묘사된 성녀에 가깝게 묘사된 한 여성이거든요. 그래서 여성을 여성의 어떤 그, 그 구원의 이미지 그런 것들을 그 작품 속에서 내세우고 싶었습니다. 그러니까 이 A woman who had a similar past as he did. She dragged him out of the darkness into the light and put him in a theological school. Pugil was able to cross another bridge in his life through her. But perhaps only people who have received love know how to love others. Park Bugil was never able to receive or learn how to love. Just as he left his hometown when he was a child and left darkness when he met her, he had to go back into that world of darkness. But there was another new path through which he could leave that despair again. By searching his past and recognizing his inner life, which he had wanted to hide, he was able to come back to life. Uh, 그 어, 자신의 과거 중에서 어떤 것들을 강렬하게 기억하고 있느냐 그게 상당히 소중하다고 생각합니다. 그러니까 기억이라고 하는 것은 단순한 과거에 어떤 있었다고 하는 사실이 아니고 편집된 과거거든요. 과거 과거를 뭐 어떤 부분은 과장하고 어떤 부분은 좀뭐 드러내고 어떤 부분은 이렇게 이렇게 뭐라 그럴까요? 왜, 그 왜곡시키고 그런 과정을 통해서 만들어진 게 기억인데 그리고 그 기억이 그 사람을 형성한다고 생각합니다. 그래서. The inner life, not the outer, is what defines the essence of a person. The writer tells us that life is looking into the inner life of our past and learning to accept it. Just like water, sadness and misfortune overflows when they're full to the brim. The book, The Inner Life, tells us that we can only heal the wounds by touching it again, even though it may be painful. It will enable modern-day people who cling to their own pain to feel themselves and restart their lives instead of bringing them to a standstill.